and welcome back to the channel. It's fall, y'all. Okay, not really yet, but it is September. I have my pumpkin earrings on, and even though it's 90 degrees outside, we are going to go ahead and put some fall stuff out in the house and get ready for the cozy season. It's a long three-day weekend here in the States, so I've got plenty of time. I'm also recovering from COVID which is why I'm out of breath already. Uh, so I've had a lot of downtime uh, isolating at home and I think it would just be a cheer, cheer me up to start decorating for fall. So we'll do that this week. We finished all of our bags. Yay! So we've got our 12 wristlets done. Which means that we can move back to the piggy pouches this week. They're just so cute. Okay, so as a reminder, we are gearing up for the craft fairs in October, which is why we made all of these wristlets, and which is why we're going to make the piggy pouches. So this is the first one I did, our um, prototype, so to speak. So it's a little small, I made the tail too long, and then you can see that these have no puff, whereas the rest has a little bit of a puff. So I'm going to stick some fiber fill in the legs. I also blew up the pattern to 110%, so it's going to be a little bit of a bigger piggy. We got our small zipper tapes in. So this is what we're going to be using in several different colors here to go with our fabrics. So I just kind of paired um, some farmy fabrics together. We've got these two, and these two. So these are mostly the Lori Holt fabrics, um, the Granny Chic fabrics. So that's what we're going to be using this week for that. I am also going to be cutting up fabric to make the lavender sachets. I still haven't found the micro beads, so I'm just going to cut up the fabric that looks very nice and floral, and then I would want to put the lavender in. So we're not going to cut up any of the tropical fabric yet until I know that I have the beads that I can scent as tropical. Ah, I'm still really coffee and not feeling great. So we're going to take it easy. I'm like burning hot. I don't have a fever, but I'm just kind of clammy and hot and cold all the time. So that's what's going on there. I think we also lost two fish in the fish tank, two of the bottom feeders. Um, we're going to clean the fish tank this weekend and really take out the ship. There's a hole in the ship where the fish can hang out and I think one or both of them have passed away inside of there. So who knows what we're going to find <laughs> when we clean the fish tank, but we're going to have to take the, uh, take the, the shipwreck out and thoroughly look everywhere for some skeletons. So that's not good. And it's one of the missing fish is Al, my albino bristle nose. He was the guy that would suck the tank clean of algae. So I'm kind of missing that cleaner fish at this point, which means I would need to go back to the fish store, not right now, because I'm isolating. <laughs> but uh, pretty soon go back to the fish store to get another cleaner fish because he really, the tank looked beautiful when he was alive. Poor guy, I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the hurricane or, or what disturbed him or if I was overfeeding them again. I, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, and let me show you, um, I. I've been home a lot, so I've been working on my scarf, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so I've had lots of time. So last time you'll see we tore it apart, and we tore it back. So here's where I am right now. I'm basically just doing six rows of each color, so we have that transition better. I'm still not liking these two colors next to each other. And I'm still not liking the fact that I'm missing an orange because I'm anal and I want my rainbow to be perfect. So I'm on the last color right now and then we'll repeat as many times as we can until we're done. So 
I definitely like it better than I did last time before we tore it apart, so that's good. And now I'm exhausted just from doing all of that. <laughs> so um, I treated myself to some ice cream. So I have some beautiful espresso ice cream to soothe my throat. Um, so I will go enjoy some of that as we start cutting out all the piggy fabric. I also have a rearranged the table. You can see I'm behind my table. So I'm going to keep the table like this this, this weekend so I can see the TV while I'm cutting out all this fabric. So before we get started, I would just like to thank you as always for showing up this week and spending time with me. I love it when I see those numbers go up and up and up all week and everybody's finding the video and watching it. So it really makes me happy that you guys are coming along for my journey here. <laughs> so go ahead and grab a water or a cozy beverage, curl up, and let's make some piggies. Yay, my husband found the box in the garage. <laughs> so here are the little fragrance beads that we're talking about. So I will put some in a mason jar. Um, I'll have to find, I thought I had like a tropical blend of, of fragrance that I can add to them. So I will do one tropical and then I'll figure out what I want to do with the other one. But probably just starting with one tropical and, and the uh, lavender blossoms is probably good enough. So yay, we can use all of our tropical scraps to make some of those tropical ones. So I will get this started because it's probably going to have to sit for a week or two in the mason jar before it's going to be ready to fill. Yay! <laughs> so happy. This thing, I think this is the smallest I could find. This is huge. This is like a 10 pound box of these beads. And um, yeah, it was just quite pricey. And it was like the smallest I could buy them in. And I just, I was feeling very dejected. Like, I don't want to have to buy a whole nother box of these things. So, we'll get that going. Okay, so you can kind of see that the thing opened up already. And I can't do much about that because I need a big enough hole to get in here. So we've got our mason jar. I think this is a pint. And I'm just going to fill it up with beads. <clears throat> I'm going to do an experiment first. If this works, I'll probably do a couple of batches of these. So we're just going to mostly fill it up. And then I need to find a scent that we can scent this with. Okay, here I have my essential oil storage, which is very cool. You can buy these inserts at So Sweetness, and the pattern is from So Sweetness. It's part of one of her bundles, though, so you gotta buy the whole bundle. So I thought I had a tropical blend in here somewhere. I've got pretty much everything. We can also do a Christmas one which would be good because I have clove and cinnamon. That's right, I was going to do a Christmas one. Okay, so we'll have to go through our, we'll have to go through our Christmas stuff. Oh, fur, which is nice. Cinnamon, vanilla would also be very nice as a scent. Oh, just pure vanilla, that's beautiful. I think I did a vanilla sandalwood blend at some point. And then we have the usual eucalyptus, lemon, lime, bergamot, which is beautiful, clary sage, thyme, rosemary. I love a rosemary and sage blend. So we have those two, spearmint, bergamot again, and a peppermint. I'm going to put the two bergamots next to each other. It's like playing memory. <laughs> Where did the bergamot go? There we go. Okay. 
so I thought I had a tropical blend. I also have some other blends which are nice that I've gotten from massage therapy. So this is called Recharge. It's very nice. It's it's very limey. I've also got one of my favorite vent blends, which is Now Essential Oils. You can get these online at Amazon or at Sprouts. And this one's called Cheer Up Buttercup, which is my favorite. Ah, it's very cheerful, uplifting. It's got bergamot, orange oil, lime oil, grapefruit, and lemon. So very nice citrusy. This one is Unwind, that comes, I get that Massage Envy as well. And that's much more mellow, which would be good for one of these because it is mellow. God, I can't read this, it's too small. I need one of those little magnifying glasses. Oh my goodness, it's way small. One eternity later. So we will have our our lavender blossoms as one smell, our tropically cheerful, and our Christmassy. So I think that will work out very well. Oh, to have a little house, to own the hearth and stool and all, the heaped up sods upon the fire, the pile of turf against the wall, to have a clock with weights and chains and pendulum swinging up and down, a dresser filled with shining delf, speckled and white and blue and brown. I could be busy all the day, clearing and sweeping hearth and floor, and fixing on their shelf again my white and blue and speckled store. I could be quiet there at night, beside the fire and by myself, sure of a bed and loath to leave the ticking clock and the shining delf. Ah, but I'm weary of mist and dark and roads where there's never a house nor bush, and tired I am of bog and road and the crying wind and the lonesome hush. And I'm praying to God on high, and I'm praying him night and day for a little house, a house of my own, out of the winds and the rain's way.
okay, there's just no way for you to see me and the stuff I'm working on at the same time. <laughs> so this is where we're at. I've got my bubbly. I'm feeling very hot <laughs> and sweaty. Oh, I just love these things. And I took the fake nails off because I'm, <laughs> I'm working from home in isolation because of COVID. So there's really no point in me having the nails and they were getting in the way of me living my life, basically. <laughs> I don't think I like the fake nails. Um, and they just like come off at random times. So I had put them on for college pride, you know, to show my pride with my red nails and then was really only at work in the office two days this week, so. Hindsight is 2020. <laughs> So, um, I'm just going to have my head cut off. So I think I've arranged the table in a way that will work. I don't know how I'm going to be able to cut things, iron things, and then go back. Because once I've ironed it, I really don't have like a flat place to put it. So, that's kind of where we're at with that. Okay, I also need the tail, so I've got to cut the pattern pieces, plus we're going to do just one fusible fleece on the non-zipper side. So here's our little piggy, and here's our blown up piggy. What I would like to do is make one first, just to see if this works here. So I'm going to cut out one and make one first and make sure that size works before I do the rest. about the Joanne zipper was that the pull was the same color. You know, it was red on red. I liked that and that the pull is smaller. So I don't know if I'm going to like the silver with the silver zipper pull. Not sure about that. Okay, so before I cut everything out, I do want to make this entire thing piece it together and see where we're at. Make sure I like it. Um, one thing I don't like about this is that there's not an eye. First look fine without an eye. I'm not sure why I feel like I need an eye. And then she's got the zipper going two different directions. So she's got one picture of the zipper going this way and the other picture with the tab on this side, and I don't know which one. I feel like if you're right-handed, which I normally concede to the right-handers of the world, and I put the zipper tab, I put the pull so that it's on here so that you would open it with your right hand. It's also the side that's got the tail, so you could technically hold the tail and open it up. So I think we're gonna try installing it this direction instead.
he definitely looks a lot more defined and a little bit bigger. He's not that much bigger, but I do feel like I can see things better. So I am going to kind of iron him down a little bit. Push this guy through and then before we sew up the hole in the lining, we are going to put some stuffing in those feet to bulk those out. Okay, so here we have our first iteration and our second piggy and you can see that it's just ever so slightly larger than the first one. But I feel like it makes a world of difference. So that's good. We put a little fiber fill in the legs to fill those out and we only put the fusible fleece on the back here. So I feel like the zipper lays a lot flatter and cleaner, which is good. I feel like we have more definition in the appendages. And then I do like the tail being a little shorter, and I think I do like it with the SF-101 in there. This tail is just kind of floppy without the SF-101, but I don't know if I like the SF-101 on the loop because the loop is just kind of nice. So maybe I should make those two different things. But yeah, very cute. So we have proved that the changes I want to make work, which means we can cut out the rest of the fabric and interfacing and just cut out all the piggies and start an assembly line. Okay, so I started cutting everything out and I decided that for the fat quarters, I might as well do two. So I did one like this and one with the opposite. So you're going to have one with this blue fabric on the outside and this flower fabric on the inside and then one with the flower fabric on the outside and the blue fabric on the inside. Which is great because I basically get twice as many of these, but I didn't have enough zipper pulls. So I was worried I wasn't going to have enough zippers, zipper tape. I have plenty of zipper tape, I just ran out of pulls. So we've got everyone but two. So I've got two lonely guys here that need zipper pulls. I'll have to see if I can order the zipper pulls separately. I don't really have any other projects where I'm going to need these smaller zippers, these, these number three zippers. So I don't really want to order more zipper tape. I mean, I will if I have to, or I guess I could just, hmm, maybe I just buy two zippers at Joann's and call it a day. I'm not sure. That would be easier. Yay! So excited. So we got our piggies. I got the fusible fleece cut out and put on. So now all we have to do is assemble our piggies. I did stuff the legs, but it's still got the line there. So part of me is like, is it really worth stuffing the legs? And if I stuff the legs, should I stuff the snout and the ear? I don't know. We'll play it by ear. <laughs> so that's it for this week. 
Thank you for joining me. We have a bunch of little piggies. Let's see if I can do them this way. I wasn't able to finish them all, but we've only got a few more of the brown colors left, and then we're done with these. So, yay. And because I got two out of each fat quarter, um, I'm short on zippers, as you heard, but that's okay. I figured out I can just order the zipper uh, pulls by themselves, so I'll go ahead and do that since I already cut them and I want them to all look very similar. So um, hopefully I'll get those in time. Meanwhile, we've got our fragrance beads. So this one is the Christmassy one. I went ahead and redid it. Um, I didn't like the scent that I picked. That's nice. So I just did a bunch of clove and cinnamon and vanilla in this one. And then this one has the um, Cheer Up Buttercup scent. I feel like I put too many in here. They're not really moving around very well. But it is what it is. And that smells good. So I still have to go through and cut all of these fabrics, but that's okay. We got through a lot this week. I am feeling better, so all better now. Back to work, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much been a week already. So let's take a look. Um, the rainbow scarf is in timeout, and it will stay there until I can get a few more uh, mini skeins. I'm just gonna have to collect some mini skeins. So it is back to this boy, the Pluie Calm shawl. We're getting there. Um, I'm trying to be good and finish this one before we start on the next one. So I think we've had enough of this batch sewing for a few weeks. So we're gonna go back to doing a new pattern next week, a new bag. Not new to me, but new to you. Um, it's one that I've made one of before. So uh, it's on the list of the product line. So I'm gonna make another one of those, re-familiarize myself with the pattern, and um, I'll have that for the, for the craft fair as well. And then we'll just finish the piggies and the um, sachets in the background as we go. <laughs> so um, it was fun to decorate for fall. It's still hot outside, so it's a fool's fall for me. But that's okay. It was just kind of cozy being sick. It just felt nice and cozy to put some fall decorations up. And we'll wait and do more of a Halloween-y thing later. Uh, I do want to, I wanted to get those hanging, have you seen those Harry Potter hanging um, candles? It's supposed to look like the Great Hall with all the hanging candles. I was looking at those because that would be cool to do in the living room. I don't know if my husband would kill me for that or not. I think you have to actually like put hooks in the ceiling to hang them from. So I don't know that he's going to go for that. But we'll see because that would be like really cool to have the lights off um, and have those hanging from the ceiling. Maybe. <laughs> so that's it for this week and hope to see you back next week where we'll be making another swoon pattern and getting back on that train in the year of bags because it's almost October. So I really only have a few more uh, bag patterns that we can do for this year of bags. Not that we won't still be making bags next year, but we just won't be trying all these new patterns. So I've got a few lined up that are new new, and then I think I'm, I have the last two weeks of the year off. So we're gonna tackle the really challenging bag, the one that's freaking me out, which is the Widget, Mis Widget Messenger Bag by So Sweetness. So I think um, having like a whole week off to devote to that would be a smart thing. So we'll leave that as our finale for the year. And um, we'll be doing Vlogmas. We won't be doing Vlogtober, but we'll be doing Vlogmas. And then in October, I'll take you along on our little beach vacay and up to Napa Valley for my husband's gig. And he also got a gig the night before we leave on the trip too. So never fails. The minute we book a trip, he gets a call for a gig. <laughs> so um, I had purposely scheduled this vacation during the week and not including the weekends because we're driving, 
you know, it's not that big of a deal. So um, I figured I would leave the weekends just in case he got a gig, and he got a gig on both weekends. So never fails. Okay, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead, and I hope you come and join us next week for a brand new pattern. Love you. Bye.